When you first start out exploring how to write automated tests for web applications, you'll likely run into several technologies which might be confusing at first. The first technology that is popular across the industry is called WebDriver, which can refer to both the W3C standard specification or the Selenium WebDriver project. The other technology that is gaining traction is a product called Cypress. Understanding the differences and trade-offs between these technologies is important. First, we should clarify what the technology WebDriver refers to. WebDriver is a standard specification set out by the World Wide Web Consortium or W3C organization which promotes and maintains web standards. This specification is implemented by most major browser vendors like Google, Mozilla, and Microsoft. It lays out the standards for how an automation tool can drive a browser through remote commands. The spec also provides support for remote controlling browsers from other machines. Probably the most visible technology in the browser automation space is Selenium, which is the open source foundation that contains several projects that help automate browsers. The first and most basic project under the Selenium umbrella is the IDE. This is a browser plugin where you can record test steps and play them back in the browser. I won't be covering this approach because this is not a repeatable process and won't help test some progressive web app features. Still, this is something to investigate on your own if you're looking for a quick way to get started testing applications. It is far more likely that you'll write automation scripts instead, which Selenium WebDriver is designed for. When people use the term WebDriver, they may be referring to the standard, but they're also probably talking about Selenium WebDriver, which is a framework for writing automation tests. The reason that it includes WebDriver in the name is because the framework is built on top of the WebDriver standard. The Selenium WebDriver project consists of cross-platform SDKs for different languages like c -sharp, JavaScript, and Node. Finally, the Selenium Grid project enables running Selenium-based testing across different browsers and operating systems. In this course, we won't be directly using Selenium Grid, but we will see how to plug browser stack in as our grid testing service for some of the tests. With Selenium offering robust testing tools that use a W3C recommended standard, what does Cypress bring to the table and why am I using it for most of the tests in this course? The reason comes down to developer experience mostly. Cypress is an open source product that offers a free test runner in addition to a paid cloud service for test reporting. The major reason Cypress has become popular is in part due to its novel architecture that does not use the WebDriver standard. You might think that this is probably a negative and there are some definite trade-offs which I'll cover next, but the reason Cypress does not use WebDriver is to offer better test reliability and speed. The WebDriver standard uses remote commands over the network to control the browser, but Cypress uses an in-process Node.js server to control the browser from within. Because of this, Cypress is considered an all-in-one framework, meaning that it offers a test runner, assertions, and network stubbing out of the box versus most WebDriver-based solutions that require you to bring your own frameworks. Cypress is entirely written in JavaScript, and since it runs within the context of the browser, you can manipulate your application while it's running using JavaScript. This makes it easier to stub or mock APIs in your application in ways which WebDriver can't. The other major feature Cypress offers, and another primary reason I want to use it in this course, is the rich developer experience using the built-in test runner and debugging interface. We'll see this in action soon, but it makes writing end-to-end -end tests a lot more fun and interesting compared to the command-line-only experience of writing WebDriver tests.